President, the Ambassador of Sudan. Mr. Ambassador, how do this up? Well, you are no stranger here in our country. I know from your service in the UN. And Mrs. Hello there. Nice to see you. And daughter Dina. Hello there. Nice to see you. And son. See you. Thank you. How do you do? How do you do? Well, you and I will hold in front of a fireplace, and then we have to do the exchange papers, and then you all come into the family. That's my daughter Zena. Hello there. Okay. Nice to see you. But you and I will go over in front of the fireplace, okay. exchange okay. papers, and then right. you'll come in and join us for a family day. Okay. We're very pleased with the relationship we've had for so long with your country, and please be with His Majesty at this regard. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I said that we would do that. I, I pass on you, uh, Mr. President, the best we can. Thank you. And we'll continue to seek peace in the Middle East. We look forward to that, Mr. President. Yes. A peace built on justice for everyone. Yes. Well, we'll keep trying. We will indeed. Okay. Now. I think maybe the ladies were between the Yes, that's right. That's right. That's Nice. Thank, you. Uh, Thank you. Well, hope you'll be very happy. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador of Nepal. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President. Uh, well, mm -hmm. thank you. And Mrs. Well. Excuse me. And Mrs. Sanju. Hello there. Nice to see you. You and I will go over in front of the fireplace, and then after we've exchanged our papers, you will come in and join us. Well, we very sorrow and regret over the August that earthquake in your country. And we're recovering well and getting over that. But we have uh, a great, great feeling relationship with your country. Well, Mr. President, I, I think remember I'm... His Majesty's visit here several years ago to the White House. He still remembers it very well and he sends his best personal regards. And we have been very much encouraged to uh, get the words of consolation, even in the days of uh, difficulty, such as the earthquake time. Well, you know, I think if she gets between 
between us. Yes, sir. The Ambassador of Honduras. Mr. Ambassador, Sir welcome. President, uh, what's our to meet you, sir? Well, it's good to see you and to have you here. Thank you so and much. And Mrs. Hernandez. My wife. Hello, Hello there. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to see you. My daughter, Morella. Hello, Morella. And my son, Alejandro. How do you do? You and I will go over in front of the fireplace, exchange our papers, and then you'll come in and join us for a photo. Thank you Somebody said something on it that this was uh, this was their ceremonial. I guess it doesn't differ, but this was a ceremonial. Ceremonial. Was checking in. So you should be honored that he was yeah. there to the waist. Here is some kind of a skin, leopard skin or something. One of you the the yeah. speeches I gave while well, working for you. It's not one of those Washington books. This is a book about our children. No. <laughs> it's a wonderful book. Well, thank you very much. I highly recommend. <laughs> I should. This is a letter, this is a poem that an 11 year old boy wrote. He's the only conservative in his school. His mother, <laughs> he says, What's the name? That's uh, right. Yeah, we all want to. I'll get the name. Uh, we'll work on it. He sent it to me one time, and, and uh, she said he didn't have anything. So I said, I'm going to give it to the president today. Just, it's a poem, it's something that he wrote, and no. I think it's very good. This is in Hostetler, mm -hmm. 4100 West Street. W Street. Oh, that's a W. W Street. Mm -hmm. That could have been why he didn't get a risk, because it yeah. looks kind of odd. What is that? That's yeah. Northwest, apartment North. 302. Washington, D.C. His mother is a teacher assistant at John's Nursery School. And they're he's so the only excited conservative, so we thought we had it. Well, he. I shall respond to it. Thank, Thank you. Send him a picture. Oh, he would be. All right. Well, now I have a little something to take care of before we uh, leave. And just a for you. You should drop this. Oh. It's a set of glasses. Oh, Lord. We can use that. And you have one of these 
ever tried it. Oh, oh, he's been wanting it. Yeah. What do you say? Sure. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he well, put a bow tie on. It's you know, very shy. Can we show the present in the back? <laughs> yes, we want to. Just so you know, we got. An ah. Ah. <laughs> it's Dumbo, have, but it's an elephant. Yes, we have. Our, this is a young Republican here. I think we better take you into your guests there. About three years or so ago, February 6th, my birthday, sir, <laughs> he checked in as Secretary of Education. And uh, I think you all know without my telling you that up until then I was trying to get rid of the Department of Education. Didn't think the federal government should be in that business. Since then I found out if you have the right person running it, it's just fine. <laughs> and we had the right person running it. But I know this is in the nature of a farewell, so I don't know why I'm acting so cheery. <laughs> I don't feel dead either. I, I, not, not even lame. I feel okay. Well, I couldn't resist coming in here, and, and as you can see, uh, you're going to get kind of a luscious send off here. Sure. <laughs> you can see I need it too. <laughs> Us. Well, yes, ma'am. Well, I just want to tell you, I don't know of anyone that has served as nobly or done the job that he has done at education all over America. And I know that many of you were of help in all of this, that uh, education all over America is a lot better for his having been in the job that he was in. So I know it's goodbye, but also God bless you. And thank you, Chris. Just say a word, Mr. President. It has <clears throat> been an honor, pleasure, privilege to serve under you, to work for you. The greatest opportunity of my life. We've done the best we could, and I'm pretty pleased with what we've done. We have tried to follow what you wanted to do. When you gave me the job, you said, I want you to try to represent the good sense of the American people, and that's what we've tried to do. And if I could say, Mr. President, what I've been saying to people all over this country, I know the President talks it now in the uh, last months about uh, his greatest achievements. And to my mind, your greatest achievement is who you are. Because in you, the American people have their own common sense and their own good common values personified. And that's why they love you, and that's why I love you, and that's why we were proud to serve you. Thank you very much. out of the way so you can eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Thanks again. Back to work. Thank you. Bless you all. bill that I've received so far and that. Yeah. And it'll be an achievement, I think, of which we can all be proud if all 13 individual appropriations bills are here and yeah. signed before the fiscal year begins. I've been told that Congress hasn't done that since 1948, yeah. the last time that that's happened. And I think we've got to keep within the last year's budget summit agreement finishes up on the last seven appropriations bills because we don't want to trigger that grand run on Hollings automatic across the board cuts. So if you place top priority on getting those seven bills down here within the budget agreement without unnecessary baggage, 
I think we can have 13 appropriations bills in law on October 1st, no sequestration. I, as you know, I've stated I won't sign another one of those big mm -hmm. omnibus uh, continuing resolutions, so maybe we can avoid one this year. The floor is open. Well, for my part, I'll make it brief, but uh, that's my ticket, too. I mean, <laughs> and, uh,